my Fina loves is Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. Had to give you guys a dose of our happy baby Brooklyn I especially love this video right here where she's like sitting and eating and paying attention like she's all grown I really do love that with everything that's going on it's not stopping Kenya from being an amazing mother I'm not just saying okay your mom you wake up and you do your thing and you're at home like she's really going out there taking Brooklyn traveling taking her to different places and different events it's just amazing because she's going to grow up, you know, just feeling so well-rounded, diverse, and very cultured. Because, yes, I know the trip to Paris, you know, she's not going to remember. But that's what pictures and videos are for. And I'm sure there's more to come. So I love that Kenya is just having an amazing time with Brooklyn. <laughs> love this moment right here where she's laughing. Her mother is, you know, riding her around. And she's just having a great time. It's so nice to see Aunt Laurie. Aunt Laurie is around. She's always been around, but I know how social media works. You know, just because they don't see it, they assume that it's not happening. So when Kenya posted this picture with Brooklyn and Aunt Laurie, and she wrote me and Gigi, parentheses, Aunt Laurie family, miracle baby love. People were like, oh my God, Aunt Laurie, finally she's back. And in my mind, I'm thinking, she, she didn't go anywhere <laughs> she's always been there but i get it out of sight out of mind and this is the only way kenya moore supporters get to see her life so if they don't see it then the assumption is there that it's not happening okay like kenya went to this amazing concert okay and she did not turn the camera around not once to show who was there with her but this is a concert, you know, love songs, you know, romantic situations going on. So who knows, okay? Her husband could have been there with her. The last time she went to these things, he was there. But she kept the camera on the artist, you know, and some of the videos I play in the background to avoid copyrights, okay? I'm not saying he was there, but I know that when Kenya go to these concerts, I don't know who she takes with her. But I was like, turn the camera around. <laughs> I'm nosy. Let's see. But anyways, I love that she have a very well balanced life. Okay. She's doing her mommy thing. Everything is going great. But she's still, but she's still taking time for herself to go and do the adult things and have a great time and you know enjoy her life. Now on Thanksgiving Day, most of you saw these images that I posted with Kenya and Sheree and these videos right here. Love thy neighbor. <laughs> Love thy neighbor. I just came to get some brown shoes. Goody, why did you go on? Move. No, no, she don't want to be a body. <laughs> You know of kenya basically going to sheree's house and all of that actually the uh picture with sheree's the um, gotti oh led to a large not only in my comment section on youtube but on social media yeah we're going in on kenya about that dog and you know don't forget just because kenya is used to having similar dogs she's an animal lover period okay so i'm sure at sheree's house 
you know, she was in love with Gotti. And it was like, and I'm sure, I, I get it. I completely understand. Yes, I watch the news. You know, there are times where you were here, you know, dog owner have to put the dog to sleep because the dog, you know, harm the newborn, things like that. So I get it. But it's not all dogs, okay? So when most of you saw that Kenya was at Sheree's house for Thanksgiving, I saw, you know, some people send me messages like, oh, is she going to spend Thanksgiving alone? That's just her in Brooklyn. Is she going to be with her husband? Like, where's her family? What's going on? Oh, I feel so bad. And I'm like, um, when Kenya went to Paris or Brooklyn, she had her friends there of 30 plus years, okay? Please understand that these reality TV shows, they come on these shows, they meet co-workers and those co-workers relationships sometimes turn into friendship. But Kenya been having friends in her life from the time she was a little girl and those same people are still in her life and those people went with her to Paris. If you go to the dailies playlist, you will watch uh, Kenya and Brooklyn trip to Paris. So thank you, Brandon. Okay. Love me some Brandon for sharing these amazing pictures showing that Kenya family came down. Brandon was there. They had an amazing Thanksgiving. It looks like at Moore Manor. And so these are the amazing pictures and, you know, Brandon with Brooklyn, you know, spending time and just the rest of the family. So yes, Kenya was surrounded with nothing but love. Brooklyn was surrounded with nothing but love and she's doing just fine. Kenya also supported a Portia family charity uh, by giving back, all right? Uh, this is what Portia wrote about Kenya on her page and Kenya also reposted and wrote her own caption. She's also supporting Cynthia Bailey event and Cynthia responded, you know, thanks sis, so everything is okay with Cynthia and Kenya and all of those things. But like I said, we still have a few episodes left. So we shall see because you know everything be cool and then you watch the episode and someone say something slick and there goes that friendship. By the end of the day, these ladies always figure it out. But this picture right here, don't forget. Oh, look at our Brooklyn. She's a big girl now, but this is just everything. I mean, she is a natural, okay, Kenya? Put her in front of the camera. Let her be somebody's baby in a movie. You know, commercials, all of that. Because she sees that camera and she starts posing, okay? She's a natural. This image is just everything. And of course, that color against her complexion. She is just an adorable little girl. But don't forget that Kenya is still the ambassador for Baby Quest. Help someone today have their miracle baby by donating now to Bushi Tag Baby Quest grants. They award grants to families and go ahead and read the rest of her caption, okay? But anyways, this was a quick and short video. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on our girl, Brooklyn. Let you guys know she's out here riding around and getting it, okay? Getting big and she's having an amazing time, an amazing life. And so kudos to Kenya for doing her thing. Now, you already know how I feel about the color red against our complexion. Kenya looks so stunning in this look right here for confessionals. And yeah, so now, apart from the show and more hair care and everything else she got going on, Kenya also make her coins, you know, from social media, posting ads and things like that. I, in as much as I'm not getting paid to, you know, promote this brand, I wanted to include this video because I just thought, uh, you know, she looked beautiful. Her fresh face was everything. The makeup is everything. The end result is everything. So, yeah, and, and I know that on many occasions when I do these videos, you know, in as much as the pictures and my commentaries and what I'm saying is great and all. Y'all rather hear Kenya voice or Brooklyn voice or see videos and things like that. So I really liked this recent ad that she did for this makeup brand and she looked beautiful at the end. So I just want to include it in here and end it on this note. Wishing Kenya and her family absolutely the best. At the end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. 
Also turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day guys. God bless.